Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. No matter where you live in the world, you should probably pay attention to what's going on in the central United States right now. And what's going on there is a lot of severe weather events. And the reason that's important to you or I or people that don't necessarily even live there is that it is causing a lot of uh, chaos with the farming that goes on there. Uh, and not only with the farming of things currently in production, but with the trade dispute with China, between the United States and China, a lot of farmers were stockpiling stuff that they couldn't really sell at a decent price. And a lot of those stockpiles piles have been destroyed in a lot of these floods as well. So if you believe in the law of supply and demand, and since supply seems like it's about to go down and demand's going to stay fixed because people need to eat, that would suggest prices on food are probably going to be going up in the near term, and you may want to react to that. In addition to that, you may want to look forward about things like this going on forward into the future. It's always been my feeling that climatological disasters and the impact on food production and all that was one of the most likely scenarios for kind of a SHTF event that we might see in our time, aside from the, you know, the more obvious things like aliens invaded by air-dropping bird flu-infected clown zombies. Here's a clip. But aside from that, you know, massive issues with food production, I've always thought was one of the, the, the more likely events that we would have to look out for. And it seems like going forward, that is gonna maybe be more of a thing. In the past, we've been, gotten close to this kind of uh, situation where there's been you know, a big problem in one area, but we've gotten lucky in all these past events where there was a big problem in one area, but another area had like a bumper crop or whatever. But counting on luck, it's not, it's not the way that I like to live through my life. Uh, it may not be the way that you like to live through your life. And getting yourself a little bit more prepared for price spikes in food by having things stocked up in your pantry, I think would be a good idea. Now, I think presently, the, the, the way the world currently is, I think that food prices are insanely cheap. And I know that there are people that live with food insecurity, and I don't mean to be callous to that. But historically speaking, food right now is insanely inexpensive. I mean, the fact that you can buy like a pound of beef for like a dollar, maybe not very good beef, but the fact that you can buy a pound of meat for a dollar is just, it blows my mind. If you've ever grown your own food and know how much work goes into that, the idea of selling the fruits of that labor for like a dollar a pound or less is just crazy. <laughs> I mean, historically speaking, food prices are crazy low right now. We may be going into an era where they're going to be less crazy low, more like they've been in the past. And with so many people living on razor thin margins, you know, maybe by their own choice, maybe by circumstance, whatever, the fact of the matter is people are living there, that could be a real problem for a lot of people. If you don't want to be one of them, think ahead a little bit, get stuff when it's less expensive, stock it up, hold on to it so that you have it if prices do go crazy. Because no matter whether you're a vegetarian or an omnivore or on the Atkins diet, something on your diet is coming either from the central United States or you know it's in the same kind of market. So think ahead, get yourself prepared, and you may save yourself a lot of aggravation and possibly a bunch of money later on down the road. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.